What's going on guys, Christian here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to connect your PlayStation 5 DualShock 5 controller to your PC. It's a pretty simple process and we're going to go over both how to connect it for Steam use, which is pretty easy, and we're also going to show you how to install it for other games that are not Steam by using a Xbox emulator on your computer. So the first things first, you're going to want to grab your PlayStation 5 controller and you're also going to need a USB-C cable which does not come with the controller. So you're going to need to get one of those if you already have one on hand or go on Amazon, order one. And then once you get that, you can go ahead and plug that into the top of your controller in the charging port and then plug it into a USB port on the computer. Alternatively, you can also connect to your computer via Bluetooth, which is how I'm going to set it up so that I can show you guys how to do that. This is pretty similar to connecting your PlayStation 4 controller if you ever did that before. So you're just going to go ahead and go to the Bluetooth settings on your computer. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then once you're here, you can go ahead and click on add Bluetooth or other device. Next, you're going to want to actually grab your PlayStation 5 controller and you are going to push down on the center PlayStation button and the top left button. Um, it used to be the share button, I believe now it's the creative button. So you're just going to go ahead and hold those down until the controller starts to blink blue pretty rapidly. Once it goes ahead and does that, you can go ahead and click on Bluetooth on your computer screen. It's going to start searching and as you can see, wireless controller will pop up. Go ahead and click that and it's going to connect to the controller. And as you can see, that's done. Setting up device pops up and you're good to go. You can then X out of this screen. From here, your Steam games should pick up the PlayStation 5 controller, no problem. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and hop into Steam and I'll just make sure that we have one setting checked off on there. So we'll open that up and you're gonna wanna launch Steam in big picture mode. So we can go ahead and launch up big picture mode and once you're in big picture mode, you can then access controller settings. Um, so go ahead and go to the settings and then go down to controller settings. And once you get here, just make sure PlayStation configuration support is checked on. And you should see PlayStation 5 controller down at the bottom here. Um, we do have a couple settings that we can set for. We have preferences, so you can rename the controller. You could turn your rumble on or off. You can also change the color of the light on your controller if you want to do that. And you can also adjust the light brightness and saturation. So we'll go ahead and get out of that menu. Um, you can then also do identify in case you have multiple controllers connected. You click that and it'll rumble the controller that you have as well as calibrate. So if you have some dead zones on your controllers, you can go ahead and calibrate that so that you don't have drifting when you're in your games. So we can go ahead and click on OK there. And that is about all we have to do for uh, Steam games, which is super, super easy. So the next step that we're going to do is how to connect it for any other game other than Steam games. So then the first step that you're going to want to do is go to the website that I have linked down in the description. It's x360ce.com. And go ahead and click on download for all games. This is going to go ahead and download the Xbox 360 emulator that we need in order to allow this controller to function with other games. So go ahead and download that wherever you see fit. Uh, and then once that's finished downloading, we're going to go ahead and open it up. So as you can see here, we need to open that up and we're going to unzip the folder, extract all hit extract and then once that's done you can see we got x360 ce so go ahead and click that and you're going to get a windows protected your pc click on more and click on run anyway that's going to go ahead and load up and one thing i want to point out here is for this app to work you actually do need to plug in via uh, USB cable. The Bluetooth after testing does not actually work with this app, so you are going to need to be wired to use it with any other games other than Steam at this point in time. So go ahead and click on the add button over on the right side here. 
And then from there, we want to select the USB wireless controller. You can tell it's USB by the symbol here instead of the Bluetooth symbol. So make sure it's highlighted in blue and go ahead and click add selected devices. Once it goes ahead and does that, make sure enable one map device is checked. And then we are going to go ahead and remap all the buttons in the controller because they are currently not mapped. So go ahead and click on remap all and you will see then it blinks which buttons you need to press so go ahead and press it on the controller and it'll save and then it'll pop up the next one go ahead and press that and it'll save and then we're just going to go ahead and run through all of those and then you'll see what it'll look like in just a second and then once you go ahead and do all of those buttons it should look something like this and then from here you should be able to launch up any game that you want as long as it supports an xbox 360 controller and it should run just fine so that's all i have for you guys today if you liked the video go ahead and give it a thumbs up down below if you want to see more videos you can go ahead and subscribe down below as well and if you have any questions you can go ahead and throw those down in the comments below and either i'll try to help you out or somebody else watching the video might know the solution so thanks for watching guys and i will see you next time